Hello everyone, welcome back to A Tray You Crochet. In today's video, I am going to be teaching you how to crochet a scarf. It's been a while since I have put up a scarf tutorial on this channel, so I thought that I would put up one today. One that is very specifically designed for beginners. That is to say, it's very easy, okay? So basically, you're just gonna have two rows and you're gonna alternate those rows for the duration of the pattern once we get going, okay? Things you will need include a crochet hook size 5.5 millimeters, that is US. You're gonna need a weaving tapestry darning needle, a pair of scissors, and some yarn. This yarn right here is 5.3 ounces, 312 yards, and it's called Scarfy by Lion Brand yarns. The specific colorway is this cranberry black. Let's get started. We're going to start out with a slip knot. Insert our 5.5 millimeter crochet hook in and let's get to chaining. So we're going to chain loosely 13 chains. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and then 13. Now because the stitch of choice is double crochets for this pattern, we're going to chain three more. One, two, three. So those three chains are the height of the double crochet and that will count as one stitch once we start to go back in the other direction putting double crochets into the chains. That means that when you count this plus the 13 chains that we crocheted before, that will leave us with a total of 13 plus this one, this chain three makes one stitch, a total of 14 stitches, okay? So you want an even number of stitches. Now, I asked you to chain loosely because we're gonna be working into the back bumps, okay? so. If you lost count, just go into the fourth chain from the hook. So one, two, three, four. Turn it over so it's face down and find that bump right there. We're gonna yarn over because it's a double crochet and then we're gonna go into the bump like that. Yarn over, pull through to the front, yarn over, go through two, one, two. Yarn over, go through two, one, two. Yarn over go into the next bump, which is the next chain, yarn over, pull through to the front, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go into the next bump, which corresponds to the next chain, which is there. Yarn over, pull through to the front, three loops on a crochet hook, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. Continue putting double crochets in each of the remaining bumps, and I'll meet you at the end. So you should have a total of 14 stitches. You should have crocheted 13 double crochets plus this chain three that you started with right here. And it gives you a total of 14 stitches. Now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. You're gonna turn your work. And this chain three will be the stitch that counts for this first double crochet there. We're going to put our next double crochet in this double crochet there. So chain three is for that stitch. The double crochet that we're going to make, we're gonna put into that next stitch. Yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through two. So chain three for that stitch. And this double crochet is for that second one. Now we're going to chain one, and we're going to skip the next stitch, which is this third one, and we're gonna to go to this fourth one. So one, two, three, four, and that's where we're gonna put our next double crochet. So skipping that one, going into that one, and putting a double crochet there. So let's look at what we've done. This chain three is for that stitch. This double crochet is for that stitch. And then we chained one and we skipped that double crochet. And then in this fourth one, we put another double crochet. 
Now we're gonna yarn over and put a double crochet into the next stitch. So we have two consecutive double crochets and we did not chain one in between them. Now we're gonna chain one. And then we're gonna skip the next stitch and put a double crochet into the one thereafter. Okay, so basically the pattern is two, chain one, skip one. Two, chain one, skip one. And then two, so we put another one in that next stitch. Okay. And then we're gonna chain one, skip one, and then put one in the one thereafter. And then put another one in the one after that one. So we're creating those spaces, those gaps by chaining one and also by skipping the corresponding stitch below, okay? So two double crochet, skip one, two double crochet, skip one, two double crochet, skip one, two double crochet, skip that one. And don't forget to chain one after the two double crochet. So we skip this one and then we're gonna go into that one. So that's where we're going to put our next double crochet. And then we're going to put one more double crochet into that top chain of that chain three there. So just find the top chain and insert your hook and crochet that double crochet. Like that. Okay, so this is what you have. Essentially, these are the two rows that we're going to be alternating for the duration of this pattern. You're going to have one row of all solid double crochets where you're not chaining one and where you're not skipping any stitches. And then you're going to have the next row where you are essentially making two double crochets, chaining one and skipping a stitch below. Let's repeat the pattern. So let's do two more rows just to make sure that you guys got it. So at this point, we're going to chain three. One, two, three, turn our work. And just as before, that chain three will count as the stitch for that one, for that first there. So we're going to put our next double crochet into that second stitch, like that. And because this is a solid row, we know this is a solid row because this, the previous row, had gaps. So because this is a solid row, we're going to put a double crochet into that chain one space. And we're not chaining one at all during this row, okay? So I chain three up, I put one double crochet into that stitch right there, that double crochet there. And then for this chain one space, I just put a double crochet into it. Now I am going to just continue putting double crochets all along this row. So I put one into that double crochet and I'm gonna put one into the next double crochet. And then I'm at that chain one space again. So I'll just put one into that chain one space. Then I'm at the next set of two, so I just put them in the tops of those two double crochets. And then now I'm at that chain one space, so I'll put one in there. So essentially I'm filling it back out. I'm eliminating the spaces that I just made. Continuing on, one double crochet into the next two double crochets below and then for this chain one space there just go in there like that yarn over pull it through to the front and put a double crochet in it like that and then last two stitches put a double crochet and then for this chain three as always find the top chain of that chain three and then put a double crochet in it all right so that's what it looks like the first row, solid, 
the second row has the gaps created by the chain one spaces the third row solid so now it's time to go back to a gap row so we chain three one two three turn our work this chain three is the stitch for this one that first stitch so we're going to put a double crochet into the next stitch and now it's time to chain one to create the gap again and then we are going to skip this stitch, this third one, and go to the next one. And then put another one in the next one. So you can see that chain one and the skipping that stitch down there that created a gap. Now chain one again. And you can kind of clearly see where you should enter the next stitch. All you have to really do is look at the previous gap row. You see there's a stitch there, so obviously you want to put your next stitch there, skipping that stitch. So okay. And then one in the next one. Chain one. So looking at it, I chained one. And the next stitch is here, so I'm going to go into that one, skipping that one. So go into that one. And then the next one. And then chain one, okay? And then skip that one. And I'll go into that one. So yarn over, go into it like normal. And then yarn over and go into the top chain of that chain three and complete your double crochet. Okay? So that's our next gap row. So now we chain three, one, two, three, turn our work, and this is a solid row, so we just put a double crochet into every stitch. Remember this chain three counts for that stitch, so we need to go into this next stitch, and that's we'll put our double crochet. And then we'll put a double crochet into the chain one space, and then the next two, we put a double crochet. Remember, we're not chaining one at all on the solid rows. Okay, chain one space. We'll put the double crochet. Next two, just going, working into the tops of the stitches. Chain one space. Next two, chain one space next two which is that double crochet and then the final one is the chain three so working into that top chain and if you want you can rotate that around so you can see the face of the chain and just go into the top of it digging down so you can get a nice piece of it on that crochet hook two loops and then complete your double crochet all right so just continue alternating between solid rows and gap rows, and you're going to wind up with a very nice scarf that's going to add a nice look to whatever you're wearing, okay? Once I've gotten my scarf to my personally desired length, I will check back in. So just continue alternating the two rows, gap rows and solid rows. See you in a bit. All right, you guys, so I have pretty much crocheted my scarf out to the length that I want it. But because I was not satisfied with how I taught you guys those alternating rows, I'm going to go through one more iteration of those two rows, okay? So as you can see, I just completed a gap row. So we're gonna be starting with a solid row next. So you wanna chain three, one, two, three. Turn your work. All right, and because this is a solid row, you're gonna put a double crochet into every stitch and every chain one space. So this chain three counts for that stitch. Our double crochet that we're about to make will go into this next stitch there. And then into this chain one space, I'm just going through, as you can see the hole, okay? through the hole, yarning over, pulling through to the front, and completing my double crochet. Now I'm 
to these two double crochets so just one double crochet goes into each one and remember that on the solid rows there's no chain one okay it's just double crochet after double crochet after double crochet space double crochet double crochet space double crochet and then we're at this chain three so just put your double crochet into the top chain right now we're looking at the back of it which is why you see that bump you'll recognize that term if you watch my last video um, you can go in the back like that or you can angle your chains around so that you can see the face of it and then go through the front like that it doesn't matter either way is fine just make sure you get into that top chain of that chain three and put your final double crochet all right so that's the solid row completed we're going to chain three one, two, three, turn your work. And now this is a gap row. So chain three counts for this first double crochet. This next one's gonna get a double crochet as well. And now because it's time to create a gap, we're gonna chain one. We're also gonna skip the next stitch and put a double crochet in this one one thereafter. We're not going to chain one this time and we're going to put a double crochet in the next stitch. Now that we've crocheted two consecutive double crochets, now we'll chain one, skip a stitch, and put a double crochet into the one after. Put another double crochet into the next stitch chain one, skip a stitch, and put a double crochet in the one thereafter. Another double crochet in the next stitch, and I did not chain one. Now that I've crocheted two consecutive double crochets, now I'll chain one, skip a stitch, go to the next stitch thereafter, which is there, and put a double crochet. And we're going to put a final double crochet into the top chain of that chain three. Okay, so I've just once again demonstrated the solid row and the gap row. Now I want to end with the same type of row that I started with. If you look here, the very beginning, as is evidenced by this tail, I started with the solid row. So that's what I'm going to end with. So I'm going to do one more solid row chain three one two three and now we're just going to put a double crochet into every stitch and chain one space below this chain three counts for that one put a double crochet into that next stitch double crochet into the chain one space there double crochet into the next stitch double crochet into the next stitch, double crochet into the chain one space, double crochet into the next stitch, next stitch, chain one space, next stitch, next stitch, chain one space, two more stitches left. Next stitch, and final stitch is this chain three space, just go into the top chain, put your final double crochet. Chain one, cut your yarn, and fasten off. All right, so now we have this beautiful scarf with this awesome pattern okay and now it's just time to weave in these two tails one on either end 
So we'll grab our darning weaving tapestry needle. You can twist your yarn so that it becomes thinner. Fold it over and then just easily slide it on through the eye of the needle. And now we're just gonna go through some stitches. In one direction, pulling through. All right, and then we'll turn our needle around, our work around, and then go in the other direction, going back essentially to where we started. Pull through. Stretch it out a bit. Any excess you have at this point, you're feel free to cut it. All right, and then this one, same thing. Kind of roll it to make it thinner. See how it gets thinner? Roll it to make it thinner. Fold it. And then feed it through the eye of your needle. And now we're going to, once again, just go through some stitches. Pull it through. Tug on one of the sides to pull it all the way through like that. Stretch it back out a little bit. And now we're going to go back in the other direction, just going through stitches. Pulling it through. Stretch it back out. And once again, at this point, you can cut the tail it's woven in to the stitches okay so this is the scarf you guys so beautiful I love this yarn and I have about this much left of it so I'm probably gonna make me a little tam or beanie with it so it'll go nicely with this scarf all right guys so this is what we have this very very awesome beautiful crochet scarf and it worked up very quickly, very easily. It's a very simple pattern. In fact, it's the perfect pattern for any beginner who's learning to crochet and wants to make something. And you add a little bit of style to it with the gap rows. So it's a very nice crochet pattern. If you guys have any questions or you want to see something in particular, a tutorial, let me know in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit the like button. That is it for this video. You know I'll see you in the next one. In the meantime, happy crocheting.